It's not the best so far, if I'm being honest. Mainly, it just kind of feels like I'm wasting my time. Kind of like this. <laughs> I don't go to one of the name brand film schools like NYU or USC because I got rejected. I decided to stay in state and go to UCSB. Depending on the rankings, they're either the 6th or 41st best film school in the country, so take that however you want. Maybe the rankings are all just a bunch of So far, my number one takeaway is this. Don't go to film school. Or maybe do. I don't really know yet. The thing I find most annoying isn't a problem exclusive to film, but something that's wrong with the collegiate system overall. It's the goddamn GEs. If you're in high school thinking to yourself, Oh man, am I excited to go to college and finally take all the classes I want to take? I got bad news for you. That same writing class you've been taking your whole life, gotta do it again in college. That same algebra class you slept through all of high school, gotta do it again in college. Unless you took pretty much every AP test available, there's gonna be a bunch of classes that you are forced to take that you have no interest in whatsoever. I took six AP classes, past five of them, but I'm already in my third quarter and I still have like 12 more GEs to complete before I can actually move on. I guess the GEs are supposed to make you a well-rounded person or whatever. I'm like, when do I gotta take them, you know? I mean, I'm paying money. Should I not have to take it if I'm paying money? Like, shouldn't I have the option to choose? Anyway, this is the... This is the not scripted part, so I'm obviously talking much. This makes it pretty frustrating because I'm pretty sure film is a degree that you could complete in under two years. They space out the classes so much that you spend your entire first year not doing much related to film. But the classes that you do end up taking are actually pretty great. As it turns out, professors know a lot more about film than that one guy on YouTube telling you how to set the shutter speed. What the fuck? Who would've thought? Professors also know a tons of cool people in the industry. So in your classes, you end up getting a lot of really great guest speakers. But then, you end up looking at your friends doing pre-med or engineering, and you kind of start to confirm the suspicions that you had in your head earlier that a film degree itself isn't that much work. I mean, when you were applying, everybody was telling you, Hey, you know that a film degree is worthless, right? It's just as good as a piece of paper, right? But the thing is, if you're applying to film school, you already know that. There's no magic piece of paper that will get you a directing gig. But what film school does offer are the individual opportunities that you would otherwise miss out on if you didn't go. Even at my school, not known for their film department, I still get internship offers from Disney Animation, the Emmys, Cannes Film Festival. You know, God forbid I actually got one, but they're still there. There's so many that there's pretty much no excuse not to be doing something outside of class. What that means is that you have to take advantage of the learning experience yourself. If you're going to film school and all you're doing is sitting in class, you're probably wasting your time and your money. You can't just be making movies when the professor assigns them. You have to be doing it all the time. You have to join all the clubs, apply to all the internships. Start a cheesy YouTube channel and edit these dumb videos at three in the morning. And when you have a final due in 18 hours. What were we talking about? People also really like to talk about the amazing connections you'll make while you're at film school. And while I'm sure this is true, I haven't really experienced that yet. You know, because of- But my school has already confirmed that we're gonna go back to in-person in the fall, so I'm sure things will be looking better. Oh, be dead next star. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I know that at the start of this video, I said that film school kind of feels like a scammy drag, but I think that's the case for pretty much any college student enrolled anywhere right now. I can still see the glimmers of hope, and while film school definitely has its drawbacks, I don't see myself dropping out anytime soon. So, should you apply to film school? I don't know, probably. 